Our race is uh, kind of unusual. It's 100 miles from point to point, 100 point two. I have to have a constant dialogue with my wife about making sure we know who's watching the kids at what time and who's going to go get in a run at what time. Just establishing balance is always difficult because we all just have so many competing priorities in our life. Um, I just have found that for me, I just try and give the most I can to what I'm doing at that time. Use those screens to keep yourself wet, lots of ice. Uh, it will help you stay cool. It's going to be one of the hotter days that we have. Uh, wouldn't want it to be easy. Family is my priority, so I try to keep that in the forefront of my mind. And I think having a relationship with my wife and kids is more important than any belt buckle. Trying to balance a career and family life with ultra marathon training isn't as hard as a lot of people seem to think it is. Because really, even at my peak training weeks, I'm only running about 15 hours a week. Since becoming a parent and starting a demanding career, I've prioritized three things in life, which are family, work, and running and had to cut out a lot of other things. But if I'm willing to focus on those priorities and make sure that I make time for them no matter what, I find that I can do it. In my day-to-day -day life, my top priority has to be my family, and second after that has to be my job. And running is a distant third behind those two. But I found that almost any week of the year, I can find time to make it happen and get in my training if I commit myself to doing it. Training for ultra marathons isn't exactly easy, but for me, I don't think that not having enough time is a good excuse very often. I find that if I commit myself to making time for it and figure out creative ways to build it into my schedule, especially by using running for transportation to commute to and from work, then I can make it happen, even when I'm really, really busy. It's an ocean I get washed in the tide No, it's you, it's been you the whole time So take this heart of mine Show me what it means to love someone until you die Let it burn as bright as the Tennessee sky Baby, won't you take this heart of mine?
to love one warm until you die And let it burn as hard as the Tennessee sky Baby, won't you take this heart of mine? Not having enough time in a week isn't a valid excuse for me. If I want to get it done, then I can get it done. And it requires a lot of coordination with my wife, Stacy, and constant communication about it. And it requires me to sometimes do runs that aren't what I would prefer to be doing if I could pick any type of run to do, like running on treadmills a lot and running to and from work with a backpack. But if I'm committed to getting it done, then I can almost always find a way to make it happen. Establishing balance is always difficult because we all just have so many competing priorities in our life. I just have found that for me, I just try and give the most I can to what I'm doing at that time. So whether it's work at the time, just giving the most I can to that part of my day, or whether it's running, giving the most I can to charging up the trail, or even just in a relationship, spending quality time with the person. I think it's just kind of giving the best you can to that element of your day. Honestly, I don't think it's that much different than a normal couple. Um, I think we're really supportive of each other. So I think it is kind of nice to know somebody's going through the same thing as you are. Um, and I think that element of it makes gives me comfort because I know that Zach will be up ahead of me and I know I want to get to the finish line as quickly as I can um, to kind of tell him about the race. So while it's a little difficult not having him there to run with me and pace me, it's just nice knowing that he's actually in the race as well. Western States is one of the ultimate challenges. So just I think I've run the gamut here. I've not started the race, I've not finished the race, and I've um, been able to finish in the top 10 a couple times. So for me, it's kind of the ultimate challenge just to see what I can do on that day. Crossing the finish line at Western States, um, I feel this overwhelmed sense of satisfaction that I've made it that far. And also I just feel this sense of relief. Just kind of crossing that finish line on the track to me is is one of those feelings I've, I've made it. I, I crossed the finish line, I made it the whole distance. I, it's definitely one of the best feelings that I've had. This race is very special because it's such a great opportunity to test yourself against some of the world's best. Um, I think it's just great to be in an environment where you're against such good competition and just see how you're able to problem solve and get through all the obstacles. So this race is pretty challenging because typically there's the element of heat, there's the element of 
climbing, um, the downhill aspect is challenging. So I think just trying to figure out how to master all those components makes it a really interesting race. I am a husband and father and a social worker and a runner. And I, I try to kind of balance all of those things. Family is my priority. So I try to keep that in the forefront of my mind. To train for ultra marathons, I, I don't want it to infringe on my family too much. And so I will go running early in the morning or late at night after the family goes to bed. And, I try to kind of get them involved with my running too, and I'll invite them when I go out on training runs. And a lot of times they'll say no, but I still keep asking. it's important to keep family right there on top of the priority list. I also stay pretty busy with work as a social worker and um, so running sometimes involves a lot of juggling and trying to fit miles in when um, just just when it's convenient and I would say I probably don't run as many miles as a lot of people who are training for ultra marathons, but my goal is to just finish races. I think it's really important to eat healthy. I think it's important to get the nutrients and, and vitamins that you need to sustain. And so I, I really try to do that. I eat really healthy, but I also balance that out with a a pretty good sized sweet tooth. Right now I'm so excited. I I think about the Western States 100 all throughout the day, I picture myself suffering. I, I picture when it's going to get hard. I know it will. And I, I try to see myself working through that. And I think that when I make it to the finish line, it's going to feel like such a huge achievement. And I'm, I'm really excited to see what that feels like.
And he um, said that by the time I... Western States 100 is brutal, and hot, and hilly, and dusty, and incredibly beautiful. To make it work, I have to plan and be consistent in implementing my plans that make it possible to fit everything I want to fit into any given day and any given week like balancing life, giving your best from one aid station to the next. And how do I make it there? Just kind of giving your all for that portion. Mm -hmm. 